very good morning to you. Welcome to the Thursday edition of Sports This Morning. I'm Yemi Adebayo. And I'm Cecilia Morgan. This morning we're starting with the good news concerning Gennett Rowe. After qualifying the Springers of Nigeria for the World Cup, he has been rewarded with a two-year contract. It's been on the table, but he finally signed on Wednesday. Yeah, signs are good. Stability, uh, that's a key word now. And everything seems to... I'll uh, be going on well uh, with the Super Eagles. So we know we're going to have a coach after the World Cup, and that's good news for um, Nigeria. We're not going to be searching for a new manager um, immediately after the World Cup. All right, let's really travel to England. I'm talking about the uh, video assistant referee controversy uh, in the game between Chelsea and Norwich. Uh, we'll be talking uh, much later on the show. Antonio Conte, uh, not a happy man, insists, uh, get it right or don't use it again. Uh, Chelsea coach Antonio Conte having his say on uh, the video assistant referee and a whole lot of people having their say uh, as well. Okay, also on the program, we'll go down under at the Australian Open in Melbourne, where you have these two big stars. Third seed, Gabby Muguruza, she's out. And for Joanna Conta, who got to the semi-final last year, she's also out. And if you check the girls, they lost to 88 ranked Taiwanese double specialist. So wait, that's the guy, that's the woman that uh, Muguruza lost to. And for Conta, a lucky loser. I mean, talking about Bernada Pera, you know, sending a ninth seed out of Melbourne. Yeah, that's it. Um, it it's, it's that period where the Australia Open will take our attention. But we're not starting there uh, this morning. Cecilia, let's go to the NBA. We're starting uh, with that, right? Yeah, we're starting with that. Uh, <laughs> right? It's loaded. A lot of matches uh, mm -hmm. played. Ten so, love yeah. matches over the night. Of course, we're starting with the Hornets and the Wizards. And that game was 133-109. Talking about the Hornets and the Washington Wizards and Atlanta Hawks and, and New Orleans Pelicans. It was 94 and 93. Then talked about the Brooklyn Nets and the San Antonio Spurs. Mm -hmm. Well, for the Brooklyn Nets, not a good one, you would say, for them. San Antonio Spurs, despite the fact that it, San Antonio Spurs, despite the fact that they didn't have most of their big stars, they won that game 100 to 95. And if you check the stars, the score, it tells you that, hey, these guys, even when they're not having the big stars, then the other ones will have to step up and get to have something going. Lamarcus Adrich scoring 23 points, hope he's 34 points in the second half. And San Antonio Spurs were for them to be able to uh, beat the Brooklyn in New York. And Patty Mills added 25 points on the night where the Spurs were actually without Kawhi Leonard. You have a uh, Manny Ginobili also out. Then Leonard, we know he's out indefinitely. Ginobili just one day at a time, they check in if he will be fit for them in most of the games. And the Raptors and the Pistons, it was Raptors 96 91 for Toronto Raptors. They had a good one in that one. They have Grizzlies and the Knicks 105 and 99. That one ended. And of course, all the games decided on the night. You have Milwaukee Bucks and the Heat. Milwaukee Bucks are losing uh, to Heat 106 and 101. And in that one, Giannis, well, it was a good day for him, you will say, having some, having to make his own contribution there. But then that just wasn't enough, you know, for uh, the box to get a good result out of that. Okay, also on the night, you have the Oklahoma City Thunder yep. and the Lakers. Oklahoma City Thunder <laughs> beating Proper Lakers. Proper blowout. 114 <laughs> and 90. But you said the Lakers were still without Alonzo uh, Ball. Yeah. Yeah, Lonzo Ball. But then Cameron Anthony scoring 27 points. Steve Adams also added 21 points Paul and George. 10 rebounds. Uh, Paul George also was also in the picture. They mm -hmm. have Russell Westbrook added yes. just 19.6 rebounds and uh, 7 assists. They, they were that. never in danger of losing oh. this game. Never. It's just easy. 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 easy, easy yeah. <laughs> then the Kings and the Jazz, it was 106 120. The Utah Jazz winning that one by a very good margin. Then the Clippers and the Devon Nuggets, the Clippers winning 109 mm -hmm. and of course 104. Then the game of the night, I believe that's okay. Yemi is looking forward to is this game between the Chicago Bulls and for the Warriors. The Golden State Warriors were holding on to the 12 points lead they had in that third quarter. And I thought Chicago Bulls actually had a 66 point first half. How do you then... explain <laughs> a game where you won three quarters? Okay. And just lost it because of that third that, quarter, yeah. that points gap. That's and point. it's, it's, it's amazing. But, you know, Golden State Warriors doing what champions do. I mean, digging deep. In, 
those guys, I mean, the eight points gap in the first quarter, two points in, 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 in I mean, sorry, uh, two points in the, f the loss in two points, one point. But by the time they got to the third quarter, 20 points, even though the opponents won the third, the, the haul that they had yeah. in that third quarter mm -hmm. was, was well, too much yeah. of, a, of a gap for, for those guys to, to, to get past. And uh, good one for them. We'll see yeah, how they go. go. But, yeah. you know, they, they are the team on the roll. Team the, we're not even looking at them for the regular season. A lot of yeah. us are yeah. already looking yeah. ahead of what they're going to do uh, in the playoff. Yes. But, but just to say, um, Steph Curry, still uh, mm -hmm. the guy who's sell, selling most of the jerseys <laughs> in the NBA, he still leads <laughs> in terms those, of um, sales of jerseys. And I, I, mean, I mean, I'm a bit surprised, but just shows how popular uh, the team is. Okay, you're surprised. You're thinking of LeBron or KD. Come yeah. on, Steph Curry is, is everybody's fan. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't really force him in anything. But in this game, we have 80 points. Clay Thompson mm -hmm. at a 38 points. We have these big stars just churning out double like yeah. this. You know that, hey, the teams will definitely The opponents are in trouble. To, yeah, watch out for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, do we do tennis now? Yes. yes. Australian Open. Yes, that's a big one. Okay, Novak Djokovic <laughs> had this one in. Yeah. Okay, he got it, he got it passed. Uh, talking about the stubborn Frenchman, Guy Morphys, he had that one. But then let's focus on what we have the, here the, right the, now. The women. Yeah. So, where, where do you want to start? Conta or uh, Muguruza? Muguruza. Okay. Yeah, we'll start with Muguruza. Because, I mean, I didn't expect her to be out so easily, mm -hmm. so sudden. And when I saw the matchup, you know, I felt, okay, this is going to be an easy one for her. But when you have a player who is ranked ACS in the world, and, you, and it's not as if he's a young player, and you're asking yourself, how did this happen? Well, in tennis, you never can tell. Mm -hmm. If Venus Williams goes to the final last year, just couldn't make it past the opening round, then you ask yourself a whole lot of questions. Now, this lady, I mean, she has never won a seed as high as this. In her 17-year career, this is her biggest victory ever. Just somehow, 7-6-6-4. I, I was thinking that first set, and it was hard for her. I thought in the second set, she would just want to bounce back. Think to taking it to the third set, but it just wasn't to be. So for Muguruza, she's out of the Australian Open now. The contact, well, the British hopes, as you call her. Uh, well, <laughs> she, well, she, the, the, I guess the, uh, uh, the pressure was just too much for her. Uh, <laughs> and, and she crashed out. Um, she, she joins Venus. Joins Muguruza, so joins Stevens, uh, Coco Vandewe, Vandewe, just imagine uh, the ladies all of them. And, and that's how that's how the women's circuit is. No disrespect to the ladies, that, that's how it is. Okay. Very. Yeah, I know. You're going to tell me that it's not competitive, right? Oh no, you never can predict. Very unpredictable. unpredictable. Not, okay, not, no, no, okay. uh, that would be that would be disrespectful. Okay.